Good day everyone, it's David here, RF Shop. One of the big questions I'm starting to see on YouTube and, and I have been facing it for the last five years as we were running RF Shop is um, cable and cable quality. And obviously it's, it's a big thing for us, has, has always been um, as agents for Jibo. Um, it's always front of mind in terms of connector quality and cable quality and what we what we can do to minimize the impact of cable on a system. Um, now in 4G it is really important to make sure that you do the right thing. Um, at 700 meg band 28 which is quite, um, quite common in, in rural Australia that's um, the least problematic aspect because the um, cable losses are less but it's still a problem so I'm just going to say least I'm not going to say it's not a problem because it's a huge problem and the longer cable runs will just give you more problems so definitely have to look very closely at cable losses for any situation and if you can keep the cable to the length that is necessary and not longer always a good idea um, but coming into 5G where you have you know, 3 to 3.8 uh, there about 3.5 gig frequency range that's a big issue so it's going to get worse and it's going to get more important to make sure that you get the correct cable length and the correct cable type. Um, the big thing is you would like to use CLF 400 or LMR 400 equivalent cable where you can but it's just too thick so you kind of have to come to a point where you say what is good enough, what can I use and what should I use. Um, uh, and I'm just going to run an example. So it's kind of uh, jokingly saying it's not for the faint-hearted what you're about to see because we are doing, <laughs> we're cutting cables on, on existing antennas and it looks horrible if you are, say, if, if you are you know, pointing antennas or you're the guy that actually made the cable up and put it nicely in the box and then we just rip it out of the box and just you know, snip it off immediately. But that's what you can do to, to minimize the losses. Um, so I'll just use the x 2 as an example uh, as what we do. Um, so I have some numbers and this plot I'm putting it on the screen there now um, it's just a basic plot so that the three most common cable types for us and what you could see out there it's just people use this quite a lot um, is the um, 195 the 240 and the 400 cable types it's just common types there's many more I mean like in thousands more types of cables but it's, it's what works really well so 195 we specifically um, present CLF195, it's just a specific variant from the manufacturer. Um, 195, 240 and the 400. The default cable type that comes with the um, pointing antennas, there's a 5 and a 10 meter version, is the equivalent of the 195. Um, and what I just wanted to do here is just I drew a line at the um, 3.5 gig, so that's roughly in the th um, 5 gig band. Um, now I'm not going to the specific frequencies because I just want to show you the trend here. So I'm assuming 3.5 gig. 3.5 gig, if you have a 5 meter cable, so if you have a 5 meter CLF um, 195 cable or basically a 195 type cable, there's going to be numbers that's slightly different, but you can expect roughly 3.5 dB loss. If you have a 240 cable, which is slightly thicker, it's about 6 mm um, diameter you lose 2.5 dB over 5 meters, so that's a dB better already. Um, and then if you go to 400, which is the thick cable, about 10 mil thick, um, it's quite hard to work with, um, not too bad, but um, 5 meter, uh, the losses is 1.25 dB. So you can see the difference between 1.25 and, and three, uh, uh, sorry, the difference between 195 and the 400 is, is significant. Now if you go to a longer length, so you take the same calculation, you say, I can now have 15 meters of cable, then you just see how bad it would be. So at 15 meter, you would lose 10 dB from your um, uh, CLF195. You would only you lose 7.5 dB on your 240, which is still a, a big number. If you think well, the antenna gain is 11 dB, 12 dB, then that's a huge number. Um, and you would only lose 3.75 dB on the CLF400 over 15 meters. So, Definitely you want to keep the cable losses low and you want to go for longer runs and if it's professional installs you go for 400. Now why it's useful to have very um, various models of the antennas is this is a good example, the um, x 2. Um, so there's a version, we have two versions on our website. There's the one with 5 meter cable because 5 meter is still a handy cable to use and if it's not for 5G, for the other frequencies that is going lower, it is, um, it's not as bad as it is for the 5G frequency. So 
That's the basic one that you could get. So it's five meter cable coming with the SMA cables. What we do for a specific customer, and there's a photo I'll show you of what we were doing specifically. So he buys the variant that has n type connect at the back. So the antenna has just the n type connect. It's coming straight out of the antenna itself. That opens up the world for us because now you can do anything. Um, and what you can do in this case is we just have an um, existing customer with, oh, sorry, existing. Well, there's an existing customer, but existing antenna, you take this as is, you combine this with cables and you install whatever length of cable that is needed for a specific project. Sometimes that's not possible. And then what you do is the following. And let me show you on this video shoot. So um, close your eyes if you don't like us um, making stuff um, custom, but there we go. So first thing is you cut the cable to whatever length. In this instance, they just wanted half, half a meter of cable. So you cut the cable to half a meter. Um, after that, you just prepare the cable. So you, you split the cable in two because in this case, the, um, the cable are completely glued together. So we just cut it in two so that it comes up with two strands, put it in the cable stripper. So um, now it's ready for connector. So you know, you, you put the hitch ring on, you put the ferrule on, you put the um, center pin on the, um, on the connector, put the body over, you crimp, and then you test. Now, just, just to show on this, this specific scene here where we, um, we test, I don't, in this example, we don't test the whole antenna. So we don't explicitly expect to see the antenna return loss. We test that connector point. So we test the distance to fault, knowing that there is a fault, if you would call it that way, on the actual connection. We want to see if that's, that's, that's a good connector. So once we've put a new connector on, that's it. You have a, an antenna with half a meter cable rather than the full length that you would have had originally, which is still longer than this one, because in that case it was just that's that's what they need. So it's kind of it's customizable. So you can do whatever you want with the cable, but the core message of this video for me to you is cable length is an issue. Keep it as short as possible, and if you can, choose a, a thicker cable. Now the kits we have on our website, um, we go for it by default with the 240 cable. So I felt specifically that the 195 over 10 meter length is may not be the best for what we think we should offer customers. Um, but that's only for the kit. Um, if you don't go for the kit, you can buy the antenna as a standalone, either this one, which is five meter cable, which is a good, good kit. Uh, well, it's a kit by itself. Or the antenna by itself, then coming with whatever cable length you need. Um, that, that brings you to the point where you can contact us and we can help you with any customization you need for a single antenna, for a set of antennas, for a project. Um, that's all something we can discuss and we can manage that locally here in, um, in, in Adelaide through our workshop. Um, that is really it. I mean, how much can you say about a cable? Um, I could probably talk for hours, but I don't want to ramble on. I just wanted to say thank you for watching and thanks for your support. If you like what we do, please um, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any technical questions, feel free to visit our website, rfshop.com.au. Um, email us through the um, email address on there or give us a call. We'd be happy to help and see what, what solution we can come up with to help you with your 4G connection problems or your 5G connection problems. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Goodbye.